Hey, the only way I'm going to ever be able to send videos to you is if I do them ad hoc, without makeup, when I can, with children running around. So I've said that I'm going to continue to send you sleep therapy meditations, but when I get half a moment, I'd like to check in on you and see if you're okay and respond to some of the comments. I now work, <laughs> I'm holding the phone of course, I now work uh, several nights a week in shift work in mental health in a variety of different facilities uh, wherever I'm required at that time and I do quite a lot of that. So I read your comments, they flash up on the phone and I want to respond. So I'm going to go through a couple of them right now and touch base with you. Now I would love to write you long letters. I'm just not in the position I can do that, but I want to reach out to you. Hence this ad hoc shaking video. My apologies to you and happy Christmas and Merry New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. First point, God and mental health. When we talk about God and God's purpose in our life is simple. God is there to enable us to be the best possible version of ourselves that we can be so that we socially engage, contribute to the community and look after ourselves, include everybody and look after our world, our environment. That's it. When comments come creeping in about exclusion, an angry God, a demanding God, these conversations do not support who we are and what God's purpose is. God is there to help us be the best possible version of ourselves as a herd animal. A herd animal protects and includes its own. It's really straightforward. Now where are my glasses? The second point I wanted to say to you today, now I can see you. Yeah. Monitor certain conversations that you have either with yourself or with others. When you find yourself alluding to the future constantly, go back, readjust and revisit your thought process. Our happiness can only exist in the present period. That doesn't mean we ignore the future or we'll end up broken, impoverished, but our present moment is as content as is feasible and practical so that we can love those in our life and support our community. Part of that process is to plan forward. If we find ourselves being obsessed with the forward plan, we negate enjoying the moment. Third point I wanted to make, watch any demonstrations of resentment. It's natural to human nature to resent in a number of different Forums. One is when we unpack history or we unpack an experience when it's required. There's going to be at times a level of possible resentment when we're unpacking something. Notice any levels of resentment, look down upon them, unpack them and let them go. Resentment is not constructive. However, we may look back an experience and think, that person, they really didn't treat me well and I lost several years or whatever. Well, you chose that. I feel for you. You deserve better. Look at the situation, work out a plan, sit in the moment and move on. No, it's not that simple. It's not that simple. Start there and look down with perspective at what you are telling yourself. Uh, self-care, whatever you do, whatever you do, always have a plan of self-care all the time. What is your self-care plan? At the moment, there are so many fires in Australia and everyone's talking about uh, your plan, your evacuation plan. 
What is your self-care plan? What is your evacuation plan in case of crisis? What is your plan to look after yourself so that you can love the people in your life? Notice the repetition of stories. Notice when you continue to trot out your story. Uh, my story I trot out at times is single mother. Notice any reference to victim behavior. Now, caution here, uh, a clause, uh, terms and conditions here. I'm not a fan of people rationalizing not helping someone because they say, oh, so-and-so is a victim. We always help, we always listen, we always empathize. But look at yourself. What victim behavior could you possibly revisit and adjust? Be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be understanding and grow in wisdom. Let go, develop perspective. Be careful of the stories you choose to define yourself with. If you define yourself by a particular story, you have given control away. For example, oh, I'm missing my father who has passed on. Oh, I um, broke up with my relationship last year. Oh, I suffer from an illness. You are so much more than the events and relationships in your life. Do not handicap yourself by defining yourself by an event and carrying it on your shoulders so you're way down. That's all I'm gonna say for today. I love you. Please subscribe. Please, if you can, support me with a dollar a month at Patreon because it makes this possible. Take care of yourself. Be gentle. Take the time for self-care and for self-evaluation. I say with a shaking phone. Love you.